Hi everyone, I am back with another project. Uh, this time around, I will be doing a wraparound shorts and it's coming from the quick sew pattern K4178. Okay, I got this pattern recently in a haul. Uh, there's a video on the channel that uh, showed the complete haul and this is actually the first one that I'm starting off to do from this uh, haul and it's a very simple one as you can see wrap around shorts stopping a little bit above the knee so that is view A let me have a look at the back to show you uh, the description it says wrap around shorts and pants have an elasticized front that wraps to the back with a hook and eye closure and a back that wraps to the front with a drawstring tie and then there is a narrow hem finish on the sides and the bottom hem so that's it that's what we'll be doing with i am using uh some leftover fabric uh that i made a jacket from it's actually a very light linen blend it's a lavender light linen blend solid color and so that's what i'll be using to make this wraparound shorts uh the suggestions for fabrics though are cotton blends Jolly, broadcloth and batik okay so there we have it the sizes run up to XL I am a little bit more than that so I'll be doing an adjustment to the actual pattern and uh, there's not much information for the finished garment measurements other than the inside leg seam for the shorts and uh, in terms of the material required for shorts a I'm above XL so a little over two yards for me the notions I uh, would need the elastic which is a three-quarter inch elastic and the hook and eye closure all right so let me show you now the um, instructions for this pattern it's a very nice pattern casual and comfy wrap around shorts all right here is the instruction sheet uh it's actually only one normally with simplicity i get two I've done a lot of simplicity patterns. This, is, I think, is the first quick sew pattern for me. I'm not sure. But this only has one sheet. And uh, here are the line drawings to the front. Uh, for A, that's the shorts. And the back of the shorts. Similarly for the pants. Now the interesting thing about this pattern, why I know it's going to be very easy for beginners, is that there are only three pieces. There's the front for the shorts, which is uh, number one, the front view A, that's number one over here, and number two, which is the back view. And then you have number three, which is the drawstring. And uh, this line that splits it here is the difference between doing the shorts and doing the pants. And that's it, just those three pieces. So for view A, we're gonna be using all three, use the pattern pieces one through three. Let me see how I should lay it out now. Always read your instructions first in preparation for doing any project so the fabric that I have is uh, 60 inches wide so I will be laying it out very easy just like this one this way two 
the other way and the drawstring at the top near to the selvages. Uh, notice it is on the fold but uh, you'll have to split it because you're actually doing two pieces you're cutting two pieces of one the front and two pieces of the back and then you have the drawstring all right let me go to the instructions itself which is on the back of the sheet seam allowance five eight of an inch and it's very simple we're starting off by just stitching the leg seam so we're going to grab a front and a back stitch the leg seam and repeat for the other leg the next step here is to finish do the finishing so you finish the outer edges, which is really the sides, right? This is the leg seam. So you'll finish the outer edge by doing a, a double hem and stitch that. And then you'll finish the bottom as well by doing a double hem and um, stitch that. So notice you're not stitching the outer edges at all. You're just finishing the sides and finishing the bottom okay then we're going to move on to doing the crotch seam so you're going to grab the front and the back and place it against each other right side and then you'll stitch that crotch seam there probably stitch again for a reinforcement and that would be the crotch for front and back then you'll turn to the waist now of the front and you do the casing which is a one and a quarter inch casing for the elastic and uh, insert the elastic and move on to adding in your hook and eye enclosure here so that you're able to hook the shorts at the front at the back you'll do a similar casing but this time it's the drawstring that you will prepare and uh, insert into the back to tie now here comes actually the trickiest part I believe let me fold this properly is how do you wear this thing after you have done it it's not the conventional way where you would normally have stitched the sides of your shorts together and pull them on because all we have done is a waist and the back and finish each the side what you will find is that the waist actually wraps around the full length and hooks at the hook and eye enclosure so to wear it you start by bringing the ends of the front to the back and you close the hook and eye then the rest of the garment it would be hanging when you do that you're going to actually pull that garment to your back pass it between the legs and bring it up towards your back center up to your waist and then pull that back piece around and tie it with a drawstring into a bow so that's it that is definitely not conventional at all i don't see myself wearing this for long periods because it's obviously going to be cumbersome for bathroom breaks and such but uh it would be good for around the house i think and uh if you're doing short trips <laughs> so here is what it would look like so let's get started all right so i have laid out the pieces according to the instructions so you are looking at the front number one and at the top is the drawstring I had to do a few adjustments. Um, I added a, this is the borderline for the XL. 
so I added a little for my uh, measurement uh, that would be at the hips and the waist because I have a uh, tummy and um, I've added a little bit at the top the actual short length line is here but um, I didn't bother to cut this because it's basically uh, rectangular so all I'm gonna do is just carry it up a little bit and cut around there uh, the drawstring runs all the way across uh, let me see if I can show you the length of number two back to back with number one Okay, so there we have the back. The back is, let me smooth it out. Uh, your tissue should actually be pressed and flattened out properly to get the proper fit. These are wraparound shorts, so I'm not that fussy. Uh, I've added a little bit more actually to the back crotch for my measurement of the curve there and I'm taking it up I'm gonna be cutting it a little bit past the line there as well that's it and for the drawstring now I'm gonna need some extra here for my waist measurement so I'll be cutting a little bit past uh, where this stops so that's the layout uh, very easy uh, it's a little bit of a hassle because of the plus size adjustment that I usually make but um, it can be done so there you have it and this is front crotch curve and back crotch curve very easy so I'll be cutting out those pieces now and start sewing Okay, so I've set up with my new brother machine, the LX3817G. I have a video on that uh, showing you guys. I got that as a gift recently. So now I'm about to do the leg seam, the inner leg seam of the shorts. I've pinned it. Uh, according to step one here so a front is pinned to a back right sides facing so that's what's happening here uh, this particular fabric was kind of hard I had to mark the wrong side so what you're looking at is actually a wrong side and the insides are the right sides and how I know that it's a front and a back is that the first piece has a single notch here that's a front attached to a back which has the double notch so I know that I have a front and a back together so this actually is the curve the, and this is the center or rather the inner leg seam so we'll just stitch that and then I'll re uh, repeat it for the other front and back. 